Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Robert and today I will discuss about the GP5 Confusion. Before I start talking about details and stuff like that, I will make a little test for you. So, you have 10 seconds to look at this picture and pick one of these gas masks. Which one do you think it's a GP5? Okay, so if you chose any of these gas masks, well, I'm sorry to say, but you are wrong. None of these gas masks, it's a so-called GP5 gas mask. Well, what is a GP5 then? Well, you would be half correct if you'd pick this gas mask. This is the so-called GP5 gas mask. Well, GP5, it's an entire kit or the filter that comes with. The GP5 kit contains the SHM62 or SHM62U gas mask, the filter that's called GP5, anti-fogging lenses, personal med kit and decontamination kit. That is a GP5, an entire protective kit. Also GP stands for Grajdansky Protivogaz, which in Russian means civilian gas mask. Some details about this kit and the SHM62 gas mask. As the name implies, it was manufactured since 1962 until 1990s. It was issued to civilians stored in bunkers and civil defense buildings in the entire Soviet Union. It was manufactured in the number of hundreds of millions. It is, you can say, the AK-47 of gas masks. It was exported to Cuba and to Eastern Germany probably other countries and as I said the mask it's called this mask is called SHM62 it's HM stands for Schlem mask which means a helmet mask and 62 it's the starting year of production SHM62U uh, it has a Y sign uh, on, on the mask uh, where is the size Y in Russian means U letter it means it's an upgraded version of the mask which has less rubber, which makes it more cost efficient. It doesn't pull your hair that bad and it uh, weights uh, less. Also, a matter of this confusion and of many Soviet and Russian gas masks is that the Soviet and Russian give a name to the entire kit and also give a name to every item inside of that kit. As I said, the kit is called GP5, Grajdansky Protivogaz, and the gas mask itself it's called SHM62. The same matter is with the PMK gas mask, the PMK is the kit, GP4 gas mask, GP4 is the kit and so on you get the idea. You have a name for the kit and you have a name for the contents of the kit. Now another thing is for beginner collectors, for people that are new to gas mask and want to learn more. How can you identify a SHM62 gas mask or a GP5 gas mask let's say? Well, first of all, you have to know if it is Soviet or not. If it is Soviet, it has the factory stamps on it. You see on the screen the, the letters that you should look for. There are five of them. They are the letters for the factory, factory names in Russia and Soviet Union, of course. If you find these stamps, well, you are on the, on the right path. You know that you have a Soviet gas mask. Another thing that you should look for is the year of production. Uh, if it is less than 1962, well, it is not a SHM62. As I said at the beginning, it was made since 1962 until 1990s. And uh, the last thing you should look for, and in my opinion, it's one of the most important things, is the exhale inhale box. You see in this picture that all of the helmet style gas masks, depending on the model, have a different uh, box. This one for the SHM62, so called GP5. It is short, but not short as the SHM-1, but not long as the SHM-41MU. Even This one, it's short, it's brown, let's say, and that's for it. If you have these three signs, the factory signs, the year of production and the, the exhale, inhale box valve, uh, this way, you have a SHM-62 gas mask for 62EU. You have the GP5 gas mask. And what's with the confusion? Why everybody, why every beginner says to every helmet style gas mask it is a GP5? Well, 
let's be honest if you don't collect in detail if you don't uh, inform yourself if you don't gather enough information yeah the confusion is easy to to be done but it is very popular if you search gas mask on google images it's the first thing that appears being very common and very cheap it is easily used as a prop in films in video games and so on and people will think that every slim type gas mask it's a it's a gp5 well no again gp5 it's not a gas mask it is a kit or a filter the gas mask itself it's called the shm62 if you want to go deep into collecting and don't uh, make a fool out of you look for information gas mask fandom is a very good place to look for that there might be some flaws also gmcc facebook group it's a very good place but don't act like a normie there also the gas mask reddit it's a very good place to look for information and there are plenty of youtubers that offer a lot of details and information about almost every gas mask that's what I want to do for myself. I want to inform everybody about different type of gas mask, different type of CBRN equipment. On this channel, I won't talk only about gas mask, but this will be the main topic. I'll talk about Geiger counters, about uh, uh, CBRN, MBC costumes, and so on. So, in conclusion, if you want to be professional and show that you know you know your thing, try to inform yourself. And oh, one more thing about the filter. Everybody is asking, is the filter safe? Can I use uh, the GP5 filter for coronavirus or for anything else? Well, no, in my opinion, I won't recommend this filter. Does it have asbestos or not? Some people say that it was proven in a laboratory and so on. But in my opinion, my logic is that if a filter is older than 10 years and it was stored in weird places, let's say, I won't use that filter, who knows what it contains, who knows how it was stored. So please don't use old filters, like 20, 30, 40 years old filters. Maybe it doesn't contain asbestos, I'm not talking about this one. But don't use old filters. Thank you guys for watching, I hope everything was right. Uh, if I get something wrong, please correct me in the comments. Be polite of course. And see you next time. Bye.